Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and it's a nice grey morning here today and I've got my brilliant design team project share so I've used the ovals that I showed you in the hall yesterday yes they will never be tidy on the packaging again I do actually keep large ones together using a book ring in a um, what you call it a 12 by 12 Irish scrapbook case so I can just like pull them off loot them put them on a book ring and I just put them in there and next up I use the mini slimline with the three apertures which is a really really pretty one and I use the butterfly wreath and this is what I said I was going to use yesterday with that bird image that I'd done. So I stuck with using most of the haul that I got yesterday and those stamps because I just thought they were so pretty. So first up, and I'm sort of like all mixed media today, and I did an easel card using the oval die. This is quite large, and you can see the butterfly wreath there. And I just splushed and splooshed my watercolour and I used my white gel pen from AliExpress and that fine line black sharpie there from Dollar Tree and I also drew an oval um, using that pen and then just wiggly squiggly around the edge because I do like wiggles and I did the same thing to the butterflies just to tie them in but it just frames that bird stamp so so lovely and these stamps in the background here are bits and pieces of those washi um, strip stamps. So that's how that went together. And then from the bird stamp, I used the leaf on another oval. And there it is standing up. So there you have that lovely leaf. You get one of the numbers. I mean, they always do that. They number the specimens, don't they? So that's why you get a lot of numbers. I mean, obviously you could put happy birthday or something, but for me personally, because it is, you know, mixed media-ish, that's the kind of person that I would send it to. Either that or just be really pleased with it and have it on your shelf. Now, if I was going to go over the top with this, I do have um, a bird nest die and I would probably cut that apart and watercolour it in different shades of oranges, yellows and browns and you could put that all around on the base so that the angle, if I tip it, would be like the bird almost standing in its nest. That's if you wanted to get really dimensional with something like that. But there it is. I'm just opening it out for you so you can see just how quick and easy it is to make an easel card. You just cut the oval off edge so that you've got um, a join together, almost like a greeting card. You fold one half in half and then you bond half of it to the back of your card. There you go. You can see I've got all my ink splashes there. I would actually cover that up but I'm going to keep it for myself I think I'm going to put that on my bookshelf but I think that's really really pretty just love all the details and all of the colours so that is my first one right with the second one which is using the mini slimline with apertures I went back to something I used to do years ago and I had great fun doing it and that is picking out pieces of a stamp and doing them in colour and then leaving the background completely just black and white. And there they are popped up on foam pads so they're just sort of like elevated away from that stamp. And what I did was I used the full set of stamps which is two in a pack. Let me see if I can find the stamp. I did have them on my table somewhere. See if I can get to it. Ah, can you believe it's probably one of those that I've managed to lose in everything? Ah, here it is. Right. So it's this set of stamps, which is two. But what I did was I stamped it, as you can see, and then I found this, the seam line and stamped the other one. So I essentially turned two stamps into one long large stamp. And you can't see the join there because the ink only went down as far as that line that's just above number 1289. So it went straight across there 
and didn't transfer any ink to the stamp below. So I was able to use the two together. But I just think that's so pretty. I mean, that lovely sort of like mint green watercolour and then just a few pinks. A little bit of lilac splooshed around. That's quite a closed design. So I just went, you know, over it to sort of like give the feeling that it might be purple. And then I splooshed my yellow and my blue. But it really is just those, if we get a close up, just the little circles that have the watercolour on them. And this is the Walmart watercolour cardstock, including the base. Listen, it is absolutely solid. And on this one, it is the Walmart watercolour cardstock and then the uh, Walmart mixed media pad, which is the B Company. And I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's just really nice to get stamps out and get carried away sometimes, I think. But I really enjoyed that. So that is what I've got for you today. Now, what have I got for you tomorrow? Now, I might actually finish off. I've got two sets of dies left for Brilliant House, which are the um, Straight Edge uh, Mini Slimline and also those um, Scallop Edge Rectangles. So I think what I might do is do what I said I was going to do with the Bear Hall. Uh, bear Hall, that doesn't sound right, does it? The bear dies that I got in the hall yesterday. And I'm going to see if I can't really get that bear swinging inside uh, one of those scallop rectangles and try and cut an aperture into it so i think that's what i might go away and start doing i might start creating that see if i can't come up tomorrow with a nice little cute swinging bear right so i do thank you so much for joining me today i'm always so grateful when you come and watch my videos i really really am truly from the bottom of my heart always surprises me that i get so many views so i do thank you so much for that and as usual, all links below. You have an absolutely awesome day. Bye.